Hey guys and girls, I'm going to show you how to install Python and Pygame for 64-bit Windows. Um, I'm running Windows 10. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is download Python. Okay, and that you can get from the python.org site. Um, don't click the yellow button that says download Python for 3.6.4 because that will download the 32-bit version and we want to download the 64-bit version. So what you want to do is look for Python with a different OS, which is here, and click where it says Windows. Okay, we want to download 3.6.4 at the moment because that's the most uh, current release. So click there. Scroll right down and you should see the Files section and you're looking for this one here which is the windows x86-64 web-based installer click that to download give it a second and we'll run it uh, you can do a custom install if you want to see what's being installed so this will install uh, by default documentation pip which is the scripts that we need to be able to get other packages um, tk inter and the TK into library and so on and so forth. So we want that just left as default. Click next, click install, give permissions if you need to, and just allow that to finish. Okay, so that's done. It says it's all installed. We can close that. Um, I'll close the website down and we'll launch the Python idle. Okay, so can, as you can see, I've got the Python idle open. I'm going to see if Pygame is actually installed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and import Pygame. And you can see here we've got an error saying no module named Pygame. So we're going to leave that for a second and open a command prompt. So we'll just uh, click start, we'll type in CMD. We're going to right click and we are going to run as administrator. So we need to navigate to where Python is installed. So we're going to type in, we're at the moment we're at C Windows System 32. So we can just do CD dot dot. That takes you back a level to see Windows, CD dot dot again, and you're in the C path. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to navigate to the Python location. So I know for a fact that it's in um, CD users, and from users it's probably in my user. And then from there, once... Um, I've got that, I can go into the app data, I can go into local. Once I'm in local, I can, should be able to go into programs and then Python. And then I should have a Python 36 folder. I need to go into the scripts folder within there. So you can see where we are now. So once you went inside your app data folder, you'll have local programs, Python, Python 36 and scripts. And that's where we need to be to run this command. And the command we're going to run is really simple. All it is is pip install pygame. And fingers crossed when we press enter. My antivirus has kicked in and it's just doing a quick scan to make sure it's not malicious and give it a second and we can see here that it's installing collective packages and it says successfully installed Pygame 1.9.3 so I can uh, exit my command prompt and we'll go back to the idle so I'm in idle and I'm going to try import Pygame and you can see we didn't get an error this time. Okay, so we've got Pygame installed and um, we just want to do a further check just to make sure it's all working. Okay, so we can maybe create a window. So we'll do uh, pygame.init and then we want to set up a window game just 
pi gain dot display. set underscore mode and I do 800 by 600 and when we enter this we should if everything's working fine which I can see it is because the commands have been accepted uh, we'll get a pie game window so let's have a look and there we go it's a bit hard to see because um, I've got a black background um, so yeah but there we go pie game installed um, and also up for 64-bit windows. I hope that's been helpful. Uh, if it has helped, hit the like button. I'll try and keep these videos coming, and if you've got any specific videos you want, please let me know in the comments below. Have a great evening.